the status quo is not sustainable. It is in our vital national interest to send an additional 30,000 U.S. troops to Afghanistan. When I was growing up in Kabul, Diana was my closest friend. I received a disturbing letter from Diana in 1998. She wrote, The walls are closing in. Life doesn't have the same meaning anymore. Music doesn't sound the same. You'll have to live for both of us now. This journey is also about finding what has happened to my past and the country where I grew up. When Diana and I walked these roads, tradition and modernity lived more in harmony. Now there is so much intolerance. If you have a nationally strong government in Afghanistan, it can easily rely on its own forces to say no to American interests. But when you have a scattered groups of people, you can always play one against the other. The U.S. government just needs enough stability to build oil pipelines and keep a friendly government in power. <laughs>